Can you explain to us the series of events that resulted in the riot? Well, I remember it was a Tuesday afternoon as that when I put the bins out. The phone rang and it was my agent. And he asked where I was. I said I'm at home putting the bloody bins out. And that's when he told me about the poster for a gig up in Birmingham with Tina Turner. Isn't Tina Turner dead? Yes, that's the thing. And I'm thinking how can I do a gig with a dead rock icon? So, many of your fans turn up for a gig that doesn't exist. Let's hear from one. This is Buck Rogerson who traveled from Ohio. My name is Buck and I am a big fan of Mr. Ike. I heard about this gig and thought great. I'll take the next available flight. It's gonna be dope. I imagine my frustration when I turn up at this gig. And instead of Mr. Ike, there's some cross-dressing limey called Bacarackums making a god-awful racket. There were a few of us, and understandably we were pissed. So we just smashed shit up. Luckily before the disorder spread you managed to get down there and quell the unrest. That's right. I improvised a version of Nutbush City Lizards. It didn't make up for all the disappointment many felt but it certainly helped calm things down. Michael, in the past you have been a victim of this prankster. Unfortunately I have. A book supposedly written by me was circulated. It was called My Cool Portaloo. And it claimed I scored my friends out of ten for how clean they left the bow after they had had a shit. And now this reprobate has started circulating calendars of his most puerile creations on the dark web. It's actually much worse than that Andrew. He's selling him at the station pub, the Highbury, at Mosley Exchange, Mankind Barbers on Poplar Road and now RPM Analog Audio in Bearwood. Now in a special report killer's frontman Brandon Flowers shows the destructive impact these posters can have. My name is Brandon Flowers. I'm the singer in a rock band called The Killers and my life is cool. I'm rich and successful. But that all changed on September 31st, 2024. Hey Flowers, if one little birdie dies because of one of your farts, I'm gonna smash your face in. Hi Mr. Flowers, this is Rachel Parkin from the RSPB. Can you give me a ring back? It's urgent. Thank you. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Call after call. A lot of them abusive. Insinuating that I could kill birds with a single fart. My agent sent me a picture of the poster. I couldn't believe it. I'd been scared of farting for weeks just in case my farts could kill birds. I even rammed full packs of Imodium up my ass. But I was not alone. Turns out there were hundreds more celebrities brutally pilloried in a similarly cruel way. I was supposedly orchestrating a cull of Pokemon. I mean, could you imagine me battering a Jigglypuff with a massive hammer? A stool chart, mate. What does that even mean? Fucking hell. I don't even know the difference between a sloppy shit and a solid turd. Utterly heartbreaking. We haven't really touched on the main issue here. This phantom is not just some puerile prankster getting cheap thrills from hanging around in men's toilets. He is actually a puppet of the real powers, the shadowy network trying to destabilize the collective mind. These posters aren't merely a commentary on celebrity culture. They're psyop tools, strategically engineered to erode the public's sense of reality. I was a Coventry goalkeeper. But then I hurt my knee. And so I moved into Snooker Common Tree. They call it Nutfish. Oh, Nutfish. Call it Nutfish City Lizards. Nutfish City Lizards. And then I went on Wogan and said, I'm the Son of God. And everybody said, that David Icke is odd. They call it Nutbush. Oh Nutbush. Call it Nutbush City Lizards. Nutbush City Lizards. <laughs>